Awaken to our mother. Open your heart. They need her mournful cries. For she suffers as you do. Take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts, salt to the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. We were happy covered in soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Static. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the 
The reactor exploded. <sighs> Y'all saw the aftermath. And then, Shinra came rolling into town. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. That bitch. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lie right through their teeth. Murderers. <laughs> that they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. The saucer's waiting. really how it's gonna be. Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The Gold Saucer! Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. <sighs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Tifa Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Others are waiting. Such a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. Yeah. 
Tender, another thunderous round of applause! of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> no. Cool. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> thanks! Nicely done. Hope you were pretty nervous. Cloud's <laughs> used to performing in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Aerith. Well, you got to tell me that one later. So, now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Sure, sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun, Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote then. Teensy little break! All those in favor! Yay or nay? I, uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
have your fun. While you still have time. Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm alright. Come on, man. I know this ain't to say. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Get some sleep, okay? to clear those somber skies. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just get a little shoot in the messenger, eh? This some kind of toy? Good to lads. Eyes up here. Huh. Okay, Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. Huh. It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off! Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Most folks like me.
outside was tacky. Seems classy now. Understaffed. Great. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Uh, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? It feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. still stands, a fortune or two to steer you true. You can answer any question? Well, of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right, hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! <sighs> Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek, and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <clears throat> you good? Yeah, it's just what I 
cherish most? Uh, see what this crap does. My apologies, sir. You wish to go down, I presume? Fourth floor. Oh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Oh. <laughs> Reservation, under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. <laughs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor Suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. Uh, is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> you, waitress. Have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. for a bit. Cool. But not for fun. Just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. 